Hello, hello, hello. I'm back again. How are we? Okay, so I'm just waking up my computer. Be a second, guys. Just trying to. Here we go. Gosh, you were all eagerly waiting for me. All right. Last live of the day. And as you can see, I just threw a whole heap of stuff here on my desk and I'm now hoping for the best. <laughs> so for those of you who are just tuning in, it is day three of the Great International Craft Show and today I'm going to, we've got 15% off of Christmas things, 15% off of Scrap effects and 15% off of chipboard. So I thought I would use some scrap effects collage papers and some scrap effects corrugated men. And I was going to use my scrap effects junk journal, but I thought I might just crack into my Dina Wakely one, which I've got sitting here. So. Um, so jump onto nataliemay.com.au to pick up a little bargain today. Okay, let's have a bit of a look here. What have I pulled out in front of me? I have pulled out my Dina Wakely journal. I have the Corrugated Men, which is, is these guys here. Um, I didn't feel like doing a massive big art journal page. Uh, so I thought I might do this size. Um, so the corrugated men are kind of cool because in the pack you get, of course, the corrugated men. Oh, God, look at my hands. Uh, corrugated men, you get a chipboard men, man and you get the paper cut man as well. So you can use them as a stencil. You could use them to as like silhouettes on your page. You can use them in lots and lots of different ways. I thought today that I would, I don't know actually how I'm going to use them, but I'm just going to crack into it and give it a go. So I've got some gel medium here. This is the Scrap Effects collage paper. Uh, and I thought I might, I thought I might pop some of these across my page. And I'm just going to tear it like this. I like that torn edge and it's going to sit like that. So by using gel medium, um, what's happening is I'm, I'm creating, I'm putting gel medium down on my page first and that is giving, that's the adhesive that my, um, that's the adhesive that my, my collage paper is going to stick to. And then I'm going to stick that down really good. And I'm going to go over the top of it just to make sure that it is completely stuck down. And I'm not putting any more gel on my brush. I am just using what I have got here. And I will tear these little bits off shortly. Um, <laughs> hey there, Julie. <sighs> okay, so that is great because it sealed my um, collage paper. It's stuck it down. It's not too um, too wet, so it's not going to take too long to dry. Uh, I'm just going to pop, whoops, apparently pop it on the floor. Um, I'm going to pop this up the top here like that because I just want to balance it out a little. Um, and you don't need much gel medium to stick this down. Oh, look at that. Perfect. And I'll cut the rest of that off later. 
rubbing that out with my fingers and I'm gonna give my Dina Wakely gloss sprays another go we have seen how well that has worked for me in the past um, and I thought I would give it a go now they notoriously block up and I do not believe that there is any magic trick other than cleaning them out after you use them to stop them from getting blocked up but we're going to give it a go hello Tina hello Pamela and Leslie all right so let's give it a whirl So what I want to do to start with is get some paper towel down to protect my area because I am going to make a heck of a mess here with these sprays. So I'm going to pop that in under there. So of course the Dina Wakely journals um, have got lots of different sorts of pages in it. Um, <laughs> and I love that um, you get lots of different textured background so I just thought I would give the um, just the plain white page a run today now I've pulled out some of my own stencils that I'm going to use and but before I do that I'm going to start with yellow who's laughing now Karen I see you so I'm just going to get this on like that so putting down a bit of a base to start with and cleaning off my nozzle as I go. Hello, Diane. Okay, now what I wanna do next is I wanna start layering with some stencils. So I have got here Carnation. Let's see if Carnation's gonna work for me today. Yes, it is. Well, I'll be darned. All right. Wonderful, and now I'm just gonna flip it over, do a little stamping with it as well. And just give it a little bit of a squirt and clean out my nozzle. Just to make sure the paint doesn't clog up in there. Okay going to give that a quick little dry lime oh okay we have a failure we have a squirty one but that's okay because I still get a bit of colour and I'm okay with that. Oh, now it's spraying. Just needed priming. So it's looking pretty good so far. The last three colours have worked. Have I just jinxed myself? Probably. Probably, probably, probably. Okay. I might just add in I know, I might add in a little bit of, I'm gonna pull out my new stencil. Haven't used that today. And I'm going to do something a bit darker. So this color I've blocked up, so I actually transferred it into an empty Lindy's bottle that I had floating around. So theoretically, this is gonna work. Son of a gun. There we go. 
And now I can pick it up and stamp with it. Oh. So there's no reason why I can't put it into another bottle that I have handy. All right. Okay, we're on the right track here. Just drying that off quickly. And let's have a bit of a think here about what else I want to do. Rue. So Dina Wakely actually uh, released some new colours in the last uh, 48 hours. So I do have some of those coming in. If you are interested in getting your hands on some, you do need to flick me an email, um, like I mentioned over the last couple of days. Um, an email will enable me to um, print out your order. And then I will be able to get in contact with you and like reserve those goods for you. Now, I actually want to, I'm thinking I want to colour this guy completely in rouge. So let's, oh, look, he's colouring. I'm using this page here to kind of mask him off a bit and give him a nice coat of gloss spray in rouge. Clean nozzle, which I didn't do on that one. Yeah, you have to send me a message, Kelly. Um, I need to get, um, you need to send me an email. Sorry, not a Facebook message. Send me an email about those. Yeah, sorry, I don't quite know what's going on today with the interweb, but it is not playing ball with me again. So um, it's probably just about as successful today as my, my gloss sprays. And while that's drying, let's do some stamping. So I have got a couple of stamps here. So this is the um, one of my personal designs, one of the Natalie May scrapbooking ones. And I'm going to get this one on here, like so. Art journal pages don't always have to be complex and, and over the top and heavy with technique. I am enjoying doing some simple things at the moment, keeping it really, really basic. Um, by overcomplicating things, it can just be a bit of a hot mess and... You can, you know, you can make it look really, really messy, really, really easily. So I really quite like the idea of keeping things simple. Right, I think on here, we might just do a little bit of stenciling. Why can't I do that? What am I going to stencil with? I need a sponge. Whoops. And then it hits the floor. So I've just got my... Uh, archival ink in black soot here and I'm going to do this get a little pattern on my silhouette on my chipboard man yes we do uh, Pamela's just asked the question do I have the refills for the archival inks we certainly do we have got the black soot in stock stock we've got jet black in stock um, the main colours are in stock, okay? Certainly have those. Right, now I'm going to do a little bit of stamping over him, make sure my words are up the right way. And this is my blah, blah, blah stamp. And I'm concentrating on the words here that say not today.
Um, darling, uh, Pamela, I'm not too sure how much they are, love. You will need to jump onto the website, jump onto nataliemay.com.au and type in Archival Inc. in the search and you will find that will come up um, in the on the page. All right. Sorry, off the top of my head, darling, I've got no idea how much they are. Um, can't tell you that at the moment. Okay, so I'm just going to tear some of that off. So I've still got some white elements coming through here. And hi there, Robin. Welcome. Um, and I like the white because the white's always going to give a lift. But now I want to, because I know that I'm going to pop him here. And I'm thinking that I'm going to give him perhaps either a little shadow over the top or a shadow underneath. And my favourite circles. Not today across the crutch. Did I really? Oh, I did too. Oh, that was unintentional, but you know, there it is. Let's put it out there. All right, so this colour I think is night, maybe. And I again have decanted it into a different bottle. Um, and I'm just going to kind of go over the top and make it quite bold because that is how I am feeling. Oh, then a bit of that over there. Oh, I like it. And stamping with it. Hey, check him out. So the Dina Wakely Gloss Sprays, you do need to remember, are a spray that is an acrylic paint. So therefore, you are going to get a different finish than you are with, say, a like a Lindy spray or something like that. You are going to get a totally different finish. And that is because it's an acrylic paint in a spray. Now, I'm going to add some splatters of magenta. And I'm going to do that by undoing the nozzle. And getting it on there. Being not afraid to get those splatters happening. In fact, I'm going to see if I can get a little bit of a drip going on. Actually, before I do that, and it's okay to be take a risk and be messy and and put it on your page and go, I wonder what would happen if. And I love that it actually worked, which is kind of nice. Drying it as I go. So that now I kind of have these really awesome splats. It's very squirty, squirty. And doing something totally, totally, yeah, there's gonna be no purple dip. That's a hard no, babe. But definitely adding on some more color. So I don't know if any of you saw a little while ago, uh, last month, this month, last month, I did a, um, as part of my design team work for Stencil Girl, I did a, a double page layer. You'll find that over on my blog and also on Stencil Girl. I'll turn the page in a minute and show you. Actually, I, you can see it here. And I do believe, oh shoot, I've done a step-by-step -step instruction on how to do this page as well. So this is using the Dina Wakely gloss sprays too. So you can use them in lots and lots and lots of different ways. But today I'm going all spray and messy and painty. I'll go back to that page in a sec, hang on. All right, 
here it is here. So this is a page that I did using Stencil Girl products with Michelle Logan's um, confetti people on the page. And that way, this one I've used lots of white space. Okay, so. Radio, let's see what else we can do. Oh, I think it needs some white. And I'm going to do that with gesso. And I need a palette. All right, so I'm just going to pop a little white on here. And grab a sponge. And add some white elements to it. And I'm going to do that. Through here. Layers, 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 layers. What's up to you, Jess? Nothing. Having a break. You're having a break. You're laying on the floor in my office. No, I did that in the front of the room I live. <sighs> All right. Bit of balance, bit of white over here. So this is my Mark Mashup stencil that I'm sure most of you have got, but it makes a big difference adding that white, don't you think? White for balance. And then I can always tone back any other bits that I kind of, you know, go, oh, maybe I was a little bit heavy handed on that spray. But that's okay. Right, where are we gonna pop this guy? So I could pop in there. Do I wanna pop down? Let's have a look and see if I am gonna layer. If I'm gonna pop him in the back. Does that need some color over it? I need a bit of white over it. Let's pop a little bit of white over it. So just using the gesso and my blending sponge just to touch the top of the corrugation. And then while I'm at it, I'm going to use that dirty sponge just to pop a bit over the side. Oh, there's a helicopter. Can you, anyone, everyone hear that? Craggy, that's loud. Right I think it is right above us. Stirred up all the birds. Radio. I like it. I like it and I'm going to stick it. What am I going to stick it with? Find some glue. So I'm just going to use my Nuvo glue rather than using um, anything else. I'm going to, um, I don't feel like using getting the gel medium out again. So uh, because it's a paper product and it's just sticking down over the top of the paint, I'm just going to use my Nouveau Glue. So today, only Scrap Effects products are 15% off. So it includes journals by Scrap Effects, chipboard by Scrap Effects, as well as. Um, hey, Jess, can you go get me some white string, please? Um, as well as collage papers by Scrap Effects, chipboard. Foam stamps, stencils. It is in the packing room on the shelf. Come on, buddy, stick down. That string is fine. It's a man. <laughs> it is a man, okay. So I've just got some string here 
and I'm going to wrap him up a bit. Let's see if this is going to work. It might not. Let's put a little noose around his head. Needs to be a little tighter. All right, let's have another go at this, get it a little bit tighter. Righty O. And it looks like he's got his hands behind his back. I actually quite like that. Um, which is kind of cool. So to stick him down, I am going to need to use a little foam tape. So because of the height of this corrugated page, so I'm just pulling out my my massive roll of ultra new foam tape. And I'm going to cut a piece off. And of course, I only want it from this side. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. He's stamped, he's tied, he's sprayed. All the things. It could be a lady wearing jeans and man shoes. It could be anybody that you want it to be, righty -o. That works great. Happy with that. Okay, now I'm just gonna cut that top off so that I can see my entire page for what it is and see what else I need to do. It's coming together and it's something a little bit different. It doesn't always have to be perfect and pretty. Today, I'm, I'm not feeling perfect and pretty. I felt like doing something a little bit rougher and a bit more, a little bit more rough and ready. Um, and I, I felt like creating something a little bit meaner and a bit grottier. So that's, that's what the plan is, is here. So now I'm just going to do a little bit of a, a smudgy black border, but I don't want to take away from my, my white elements. So I'm not working too perfectly with it. But my art journal is all about creating for how I'm feeling at the, at the moment. So this is, this is kind of, you know, a messy, a hot mess of how I'm feeling at the moment. Uh, what else? So I've got my focal point. I've got my, my layers in the background. I've got some stenciling. Now I need to do a title. Um, let me think of something to scribble in here. Don't get tied down with the details and that doesn't fit. And because it is on a painted background, let's see if I can be a bit arsy and wipe that last sentence off, that last two words off. Oh, look at that. And it hadn't dried so I could fix it. There we go. 
don't get tied down with the details. Perfect. So I'm just going to add a few little chevrons in the bottom with my paint pen from my Mark Mashup stencil. them up the top as well just three at the top I don't want to overdo it how pretty are my hands gonna be on my night out tonight a bit of a hot mess. I should have stopped at this before I started. All right. So there you go. I'm not going to do anything else to this page. I have done an art journal page in half an hour with Dina Wakely sprays and with Dina Wakely sprays, Natalie May scrapbooking stencils. Um, what else have we used? We have used the corrugated men from Scrap Effects, which are 15% off today. We have used all sorts of loveliness to get a bit of a mess and it kind of works really really well i'm going to bring it up to camera to show you messy and i like it it works for me so that is my last live facebook for saturday i am a bit over myself <laughs> i feel like i have been teaching all day I'm absolutely shattered um, and I look forward to seeing you all tomorrow. Um, jump online, the special of with the chipboard at 15% off and the scrap effects, scrap effects products at 15% off is until um, later tonight. And tomorrow, as you know, there will be a, a brand new special. So uh, to make the most of those, you are welcome to use the no judgment postage special. And as that friendly reminder, postage is not free, $12.50 for your first order. And then all orders after that, you can select no judgment and we can add to your um, previous orders. It'll just be, it'll happen automatically. And then we collate them all. So I hope you're all going to have a fantastic evening. Um, I look forward to chatting with you all soon. Jump online to nataliemay.com.au and give me something to do tomorrow with a hangover and pack your orders. Um, and I look forward to chatting with you all soon. I will take a photo of this and post it up on the Facebook page and then you will be able to, and I'll link the products up, of course, so that you um, you know what I have used. All right, guys, I look forward to chatting with you soon. Wash your hands, kiss your kids, <laughs> and I will chat to you later.